morning. Uh, there have been a lot of questions on one of the assignment questions which goes like this. An unmarked police car which is traveling at a constant 105 km per hour is passed by a speeder traveling at 140 km per hour. Precisely one second after the speeder passes, the police officer steps on the accelerator. If the acceleration of the police car is 3 meter per second squared, how much time passes after the speeder passes before the police car overtakes the speeder? Okay, now you really need to visualize this properly in order to get an idea. The black arrow shows the police car uh, starting from here and assume that this is the point at which uh, the police overtakes the speeder and when the police car starts accelerating the speeder is already ahead uh, by the difference in the velocities multiplied by the time now when you find the uh, difference in velocities you got to change it into meter per second you get it as 29.2 meter per second and 38.9 meter per second. Therefore, the difference between them is 9.7 meter per second, which multiplied by one second gives you 9.7 meter, which means the speeder is ahead by 9.7 meters. So now the, the cop has to move over this distance or displacement in the same time taken by the speeder to move over this much. So let's assume that the time that they take is t seconds. So the police takes t seconds to go from there to there and the speeder takes t seconds to go from there to there. All right, and the displacement for the speeder is given by this equation because he's moving at constant speed but for the cop since he's accelerating it's going to be VIT plus one half AT squared which is what you see now so on the right side you have VIT plus one half AT squared because A is 3 this becomes 1.5 but remember that the cop has to move 9.7 meters more than what the speeder does. So if the speeder has only had a displacement x, within the same time, the cop has to have x plus 9.7. That's why I've put that that way. So now, in place of this x, you can substitute 38.9t. So the physics part is now finished. Almost. When you rearrange that, you get a quadratic equation. When you solve the quadratic equation, which I'm not doing, you would get t is equal to 7.36 seconds. But remember that the question says how much time did this police take so you got to add one more second because for that one second the cop was not moving so he's taken 8.36 seconds to catch up with the speeder and I hope you understood this problem thank you